it's your boy Professor Seven. Uh -oh. What's the name of it? Break my soul. You already know. I'm a. I'm a. Okay. Thank you, love, for that. You can close the door behind you. Appreciate you. You're welcome. <laughs> I see her. Thanks. You go ahead and close it. This is Father's Day. I know. I'm looking rough. I should have been looking good on Father's Day, but be working and stuff. Um, I had to do the Father's Day post conversational rant. And like Father's Day, it seemed like everybody wanted to take it off the dad. They wanted this, oh, well, um, um, any gender can be a parent. Um, transgenders, gay, lesbians, yes, yes, they all can be parents. We weren't talking about parents. We were talking about Father's Day and the biological father. That's what I was referring to. I never said that anyone could not be a good parent or not be a dad. I was just, that's how they, it's like you can't say anything these days. I'm going to try to make this real quick because of some things that I didn't um, go over because I had messed up the live rant. So I'm doing this little thing here. I know the recap telling men who don't have kids to just not be in their flesh and really get to know the woman and try to plan things if it's possible. I know I just said some things about the men just trying hard. I said some things about the women and uh, you can comment on my um, thing. I'm not disrespectful. If you don't be disrespectful to me, I'm not going to be disrespectful. So, you know, you can make comments, but... I was giving examples of my experience and the things I've heard other men experience with relationships as far as the ex-wife, the wife, when they get a man, how it's all about the man or the husband or the, um, and, and not taking nothing away from stepdads. Stepdads are awesome. I really appreciate stepdads, you know, no problem with that. But I was just telling, uh, the, telling the situation. I understand stepdads are important and, they, and good stepdads know, um, you know, they're important and, and we have an understanding that, you know, stepdads are is some, someone that could be recognized as well, for sure, as a dad. Talking about the biological ones and, and you know, everybody started talking about other things and that's all good. Examples is this. What, what I hear a lot about baby mamas, ex-wives, ex-girlfriends, people who who not together and they have kids is... Like, especially with the dad, say you've got a daughter or son and, and they're having their thing on uh, communicating with each other and they might have communication problems or something might where the, the dad would get the, the daughter or, or son upset and then they'll run to the mom and the mom will come and don't even get the story, the story or hear the part of the grown ass dad what's going on, but just go zero to a hundred. Oh, Leave my daughter alone, leave her alone. And then it comes to, it's my daughter, it's my daughter and my daughter. And like, you know, and then it just takes away from the man. I'm just giving examples how a woman, if you're doing it, you should stop. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's, that, that messes up the whole relationship between a dad and a daughter, dad and the son. That's taking the power away. That's taking that respect and love when a kid can come to the mom and the mom will go off on the dad without even asking the dad this half of the, the side of their story or getting information about what the problem is, just jumping on them and going ham. And then, you know, can't mention a, a daughter. Like if a daughter has some kind of health problem or something or something's wrong with the daughter, like, you know, like, hey, don't don't mention don't mention that about my daughters. Like you, you can't even. That's just more controlling. That's that's that manipulation. That and and a lot of times it's out of vindictiveness and spitefulness. Is when a woman does this to a man because they mad he might have cheated or moved on or want him. 
wasn't in love, no longer in love, whatever the problem is, man. And then they start using the kid for all they think about is the check. The check is more, the money is more important than the, the, the presence and the knowledge and the understanding, the wisdom that a dad have. And I just think that should be cherished and that should be worked on and not just something that just, you know, threw out the window. Um, it's five minutes in. Um, just like in situations where the baby mom mad about the, the man's penis or pizza. It's like, and then the family, you know, aunts and stuff and all that, they want to tell kids stuff about the, the daddy without even getting the daddies, even if it's true. That's why you can't get mad. If an aunt, cousin, uh, somebody run to the baby mom and telling the truth about you, you can't get mad. But it's like, what's the motive? What compelled you to just talk about the dad and bring information to the daughter without letting the dad bring that information, letting the dad bring that information to the daughter on his accord, how he want to on his time and not yours because you feel like, oh, I, the, the daughter should know now. And then, you know, man, can't be mad. If it's the truth, it's the truth. It's just like you think like, what's the motivation? What compels the person to run to tell a little kid or a daughter something about their dad, you know, which may be truth. And, and then it mostly be about his penis. Like what, what, what is it that about a man's penis or pizza that everybody has to be on? You know, then people would be like, oh, you are a whore because you got baby mamas and you got a bunch of kids and stuff. And I always tell them, I was like, yeah, you know, your people cervix all week from having a bunch of um, Roe versus Raids, abortions and shit. There ain't no dead fetuses out here, but, you know, daddy might got some live ass baby kids out here, but mommy ain't got the dead fetuses or ghosts running around here, you know, and, and, and trying to save face and shit. And that's what everybody always trying to do is save face, not make themselves look truthful to others. And that's the manipulation thing. So I was talking about that. I'm telling you, motherfuckers need to surclage and shit because they serve it so fucking weak from from having a fucking abortions. And then you look at the dad like, oh, you got baby dad. He's like, okay, your mom got a bunch of dead fetuses. Like what? What are you saying? Like, you know, everybody has to understand and have an open mind about things that people been through daddy's moms or whatever and we can't judge and put everybody down and then make them look bad or whatever you know if it's the point of time that a dad or a mom was the way they was then and they the way they are now they've grown they've gotten better they're taking care of their business they might be hell raising another kid it's just you know what it is it's just what the time is what god had planned i also tell my my men if you ain't got kids and women don't like to, to mess with me because i got a daughter so people look at me like, oh, but I've dated a lot of women who had kids. And if I took it all over, I would not date a woman with kids. So, man, I would not date a woman with kids. I would definitely not move in a house with no girl with or without kids. I'd rather move in with a bunch of dudes at a house before you move into with a chick. It's just control, manipulation and just, you know, putting in that time for somebody else's kids. Step kids, step dads are important. But if you don't get married or don't go, you just lost a bunch of time putting in with somebody else's kids. And then it just means nothing because when you're gone, it's the next one or the dad might be in the life. So that was just about it, man. Just, you know, don't put the men down because they got baby mamas. Don't put the women down because they got a bunch of dead fetuses. It is what it is. We all make mistakes and we all learn from our mistakes. We should. And those things should not be a factor on the outlook of a, who's a good dad, who's a good mom. But, you know, when the mom controls and the examples that I gave with not asking the dad what the problem is, just going off, even if the dad can have that intuition talking to his kid where everybody's so busy, they don't even know the kid's sick, but dad can call, talk to his peeps and get that intuition like, hold on, something wrong with my baby girl and bring awareness to everyone and still then stepdad might be in the house or not but that that vibe that intuition between a daughter and oh, i got training 
And um, father, son, and father, it should be cherished. It should be respected. Um, let's keep it what it was, man. It was Father's Day for biological dads. Shout out to the stepdads. Shout out to transgender's dad, gay dad, gay dad, LBGTQ dads, all of them. But we're talking about the biological. Um, shout out to the um, foster dads, foster care dads, and all those. But we're talking about the biological dads who try to be in the kid's life. I didn't even talk about child support, the unfairness of that. And how that's when money is involved, that's all it is about. It ain't about being in somebody's life. It's about what you can do and what you can bring. And bring that money. You can't bring nothing else. Bring that money. And they put the money above on a pedestal than the, the heart and love of a father. It's Professor Seven. I'm over my time, man. Thanks, everyone. Please, you can comment below. I promise you I'm very, very cordial, very respectful. You don't have to DM me or say stuff on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Just If you disagree with me, that's for women. I'm not trying to bash women or anything. I was just, it was a Father's Day moment, y'all. Jesus Christ. Can we get a moment, please? Thank you. I love you all.